Hey guys, how are you doing? It's today, huh? It's today, and sorry, I kind of lost track of what I was going to say there. But anyway, so today I am going to do a review for you guys kind of thing, and more of like a suggestion, because I already know how these are, and I really like them, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use them as well. So what I am talking about here are these right here. They are... Impress press on manicure fast and easy 24 nail covers 12 sizes last up to a week and there's like a little star next to that because it can be less to a week but these are the new ones and I highly recommend if you do after you see this um what if you go out and choose to buy these I highly recommend buy the ones that say new on them because those ones last even longer it does say that they might last a week there's a little star on there but I've had them last for three weeks, not even lying here. I've had them last for three weeks before. Um, yeah, so honestly, I've had really good time with these. I've tried them three times before now. And I'm just going to go over how you put them on. So I guess I'm just going to start. So right now suggestions <laughs> I recommend that you have short nails if your nails are long go ahead and cut them and you need to have your nails clean you cannot have nail polish on them previous to you putting these nails on so make sure that you take all the nail polish off as much as you can for some reason I have nail polish that just will not come off that little speck that's right there it's really bothering me and I hope that doesn't affect them sometimes it can and also next um, it says in the instructions it comes with this little alcohol wipe and you do need to clean your nails off with this so um, clean your nails off with the make sure your nails are clean beforehand um, let them dry or whatever don't have your hands wet and then you're gonna go ahead and clean your hands off with this little wipey that comes inside the box and you're gonna let your nails dry off with that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that myself right now because I'm doing this along with the video <laughs> okay so this is what the wipey looks like and it's pretty small I mean that's all you need is just to rub it onto your fingers I've already done that and I'm letting my nails dry right now because like I said you got to let everything dry off so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the little thing and it's really cute because it looks like a little nail polish bottle and these ones obviously as you can tell are zebra print um, I do have other ones and I guess I'll pull them out for you at the end of this video since I'm already started so all you have to do is twist off this cap and I'm failing at that right now I'm sorry because it's not coming off, which is, oh, there we go. I needed to twist it more. Sorry, that was really embarrassing. It's actually a lot easier to turn this off. I'm being serious. All you need to do is twist it off and pull it off like that. And it opens up like this. I'm sorry, I'm like failing at this today, guys. There we go, squeeze the sides and pop it off. These new ones, they've changed the packaging on them a little. They're a little nicer to open. Um. This is again what they look like and what you got. They come with different ones because obviously everyone has different size fingers and such. I have really small ones, really small fingers. So you're going to have to go through these and look at which ones fit you best. So before you peel them off, because they have a little tag, as you can see right there, do not peel the tag off, people. You are going to want to find which one fits your fingers, each of your fingers, and you're gonna have your hands like this so I highly recommend that you have them laying out accordingly to that so again I'm gonna go ahead and do that and for each thing you want to make sure that it fits so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then again I'll show you after I am done Okay guys, so I have mine all set out like this, and there we go, now it's focusing. I have um, my thing set out like this, like I said, this is how it's gonna go, and those are all extras. Again, some of them are a lot bigger or smaller, just depending on, you know, your hand. So that's how I have them right here, and um, I'm just gonna say real quick, you know what, I'm gonna turn the camera around, so hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back, and another thing that I forgot to tell you right before you start, that um, you're going to need to push your cuticles back. If you have no idea what that is, um, 
if you look at your thumb, I can't really explain it to you, but if you look at your finger, it's on all of your fingers, not just your thumb, but for example, on your thumb, usually you'll have like a thin layer of skin above your nail. Um, you're gonna have to push that back. And they actually do have like cuticle cutters and fancy stuff like that. You don't need anything fancy right now. You can do all this by yourself. So all you need to do is literally go like this, slowly. Um, sometimes it's good if you put lotion on your hands. Um, you probably don't want to do that right now, so never mind. Skip that. Um, sorry. Um, you're gonna want to have to push your cuticles back because um, it'll help the nail fit better. Because um, you can't have sorry, I'm saying um so much. You can't have the fake nail on top of the skin. You need to push the cuticle back. So literally. If you look at your fingers, there's going to be a thin layer of skin right here on top of your nail. That's how it always is. All you're going to do is push it back like this. Literally, that's all you got to do. And because you're going to have to sit it like that, where the skin would originally be. So now that I explained that to you, I'm sorry I forgot to tell you that. I am going to go ahead and show you how to do this. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna start. And huge, huge, huge recommendation, especially it tells you on the box yourself. It says, do your thumbs last. Do not do your thumbs first or second or whatever. Trust me, do your thumbs last because it is really hard to peel these things off when you have these nails on. It's a lot easier when you have your thumbs free. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our pinky and I'm gonna show you. Look, all you have to do is take this off. Oh, and BTW, by the way. This part, the part with the little plasticky part, that part is going to be, that's the side that's going to be up against your finger, like this, right? There's a plastic part right there. There you go, you can kind of see it. That part's going to be up against your nail, your finger. <laughs> so I'm going to peel that off, and it should peel off easy like this. Don't rip it off because you might rip it off and it be stuck on there still and that's gonna suck. So, and then don't push too hard, but you kinda wanna push up against just so that you can get in the right placing. And hold it down there, like this. La 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 la, just hold it down. You know, you wanna make sure it stays. And that's pretty much it. And there's one finger done. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do another one for you and I'm just moving on to my next nail on the same hand. And we're gonna wanna have to peel that back like that. And push a bit up against the nail, up against the skin and push down. Hold it down for, I think it tells you or maybe it doesn't, maybe I'm just making things up, but I think it's better to like make sure that it's firmly on your nail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, there you go. There's two now, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead since I showed you these first two. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them and show you what they look like after. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So look, I have them on now. This is what they look like, and I really like these. Um, these ones are a bit crazier than. Um, like they have, they have like actually manicure looking ones, um, like a, I can't think of French tip, I believe it's called. I can't think of it right now. French tip. Um, they do have crazy ones like this. These are like zebra print. As I told you, this is what they look like. I think they look pretty nice. Um, I mean, they're decent. I forgot how much these are. I'm sorry. Uh, I think they're around five, seven dollars, something like that. And I really don't think they're bad. And like I said, I've had them last up to three weeks before. The box says one week. I've had them last up to three weeks, not even freaking lying. I've had some of them last up to only one week. I've had some of them last up to two weeks. It just depends on like how good of a box you just so happen to get. So like again, this is what they look like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the other ones. I did save them. I don't know why. It's just that they come with a bunch of nails you know, and I feel kind of weird throwing them away. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to show you which ones I actually really like. And I'm going to have to get them out of the box. I didn't even think about that. Um, those are those ones right there. I guess I'll pop them open real quick. 
These ones are pretty crazy themselves. They have different prints on them like that. You can't really see them in this lighting. They go like that. These ones um, actually were kind of like some of them look better than other ones. These ones look kind of, I don't want to say childish or tacky. I know some people would really like these. Um, I like the colors on them, but they were kind of obvious, I guess. Like, um, more obvious than these ones right here. There, you can see these ones because they're in the front. Um, these are the French tip, I believe. I think I'm saying the right thing. I'm sorry if I'm not. But these ones, people actually were asking me where I went to get my nails done because people seriously thought that I had my nails done at a salon and I didn't. I just had these. So I do highly recommend these if you don't want to go get your nails done. Um... You know, it's less money and it doesn't mess up your nails. Your nails don't come out thin. They're perfectly fine afterwards as long as you don't pull them off. I highly recommend do not pull these nails off because then they will ruin your nails because they're like uh, stickers. Not really stickery. That sounds cheap. I know they have like some sticker ones that like don't even work. Um, but I highly recommend do not pull these off. Either let them fall off or take them off correctly. It tells you in the box how to take them off correctly. Again, I highly recommend these ones. I got a lot of compliments on these ones. These ones as well. These ones um, look a lot nicer. I'm sorry, you can't really see that. I hope you can. I don't think I have the box for this one. I don't know why. But... Um, these ones, I got a lot of compliments on them as well. I was kind of skeptical because I bought these because they're pink. And they kind of have like a like a butterfly fairy looking flower glittery thing on them as you can tell right there. And I was thinking these ones kind of look, again, cheapish. But they didn't. I got a lot of compliments on these ones as well. And those are the three that I had. I'm trying to remember. I thought I had another one. Maybe I didn't. But those three I have in my drawer right now. And then I have these ones, which I actually don't think th these ones look as bad. Um, yeah, I like them. And <laughs> I guess I'm going to be rocking them for as long as they last. Hopefully they last a week or more. And uh, <laughs> this is the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching. And I hope you liked it and got some like a new view on these if you're wondering about them and uh thanks have a nice day have a nice night any time of the day that you are watching this video and uh <laughs> see you guys in my next video bye bye